All right, guys, it's Andy. This is going to be part two of how to avoid burnout in car sales. If you haven't watched the first part of this video, I'll put a link down in the description below so you can go back and watch it. But this is going to be the second half, and that's why I divided these so that I don't take up too much of your time on how to avoid burnout in a car dealership. You're going to love these. So I'm going to finish up here on number six through number 10. This right here is something that you want to watch. I'd recommend definitely taking notes, get a pen, get a piece of paper, write this down. So if you're in a, bo a burnout, you can get out of it. But then also you probably have been in something before where you're like, man, I'm almost going to quit. I'm going to give up. Guys, we don't, we don't tolerate the quitting mind. You're in the best business in the world. The automotive industry is amazing. We're going to start with number six here. All right, number six is going to be not believing in yourself. So look, let's go back to this. How to avoid burnout in a car uh, sales position. Number one, not believing in yourself will get you the burned out the fastest way possible. So what do you have to do? How do you believe in yourself? Well, number one, you have to have self-love, okay? You literally have to make sure that you're not working so much that you've forgotten about taking care of yourself. Okay? Believing in yourself is everything. And let me tell you this, all right? I don't care who you are, where you're at, how your day went. If you're in a spot where you're like, man, Andy, literally my headspace, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm discouraged. I got, you know, like doubt, you know, low self limiting beliefs. Dude, there's a number on the screen below. Shoot me a text message. I'll get you out of that funk. I promise you, okay? So, not believing in yourself will burn yourself out. If that's you, shoot me a text message. I'll help you get out of it, all right? So number seven, let's go into having the right mentor. Man, whoa, that's freaking it. When I was younger, I didn't have a mentor like me. And what I mean by that, I understand the ins and outs of the car business completely. I get it. I know exactly what you go through. You're putting in 60 hours a week. Mom is at home. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're, you're even a woman. Your husband's at home. And they're like, man, you know, I don't ever see you anymore. We're learning to live without you. I get it. You're trying to make a bunch of money. I get it that you love your job. But you know what? You don't have that time with your family. Look, I want to share something with you. I teach sales pro every day how to triple their income, how to make three times more than what they're making now in less time. Okay, you got to have the right mentor. The right mentor needs to tell you that, look, man, you don't live to work. You work so you can live. Okay, now, I want you to love your job and I want you to be the best at it. And I want you to break every record and I want you to outwork everybody, but I also want you to have a, he a healthy balance in life. If you need the right mentor, you shoot me a text message. I'll take you under my wing. I'll help you. Okay, this is a brotherhood. This is a sisterhood. I got your back forever. Okay, lack of growth, not developing new skill. I underlined in this word, it says new. Okay, you have to develop new skill constantly. Okay, the guy that put a sign on his desk that says, hey, I stopped learning a long time ago, he gets burned out. The person that goes in and they got the wrong training and they're not learning new skill that actually works in today's times, guess what? You're going to get burned out. Make sure that you don't have that lack of growth. You have to be getting 10% better every single week and every day while you're at work, you have to get better, but get at least 10% better every single work uh, week you're at work. All right, number nine, this, this is huge. This could maybe be the top number one out of all of them that I see that just screws people up. Because if I teach you the skill and you got the skill to go make a whole bunch of money, that's great. I call it a figment of your imagination, okay? What that is, is this. It's a fake issue in your head. So many people, they've got an issue here. They don't feel grateful. Listen, if you don't own your headspace, someone else will. Someone's got to get a hold of you. You want to get spun out? Guess what? Let someone else change your thinking. Your thinking needs to be so ingrained that you are the freaking right person. You are incredible. You're physically in your zone, in your space. You know exactly what you want to do. You feel grateful about life. And guess what? You don't let anybody get in here. By the way, if you don't control your mind, also, your mind will control you. A lot of this is fake stuff that we create in our head. You're watching all these other people on Instagram, Facebook, and this and that. They look like they're having the best life. They don't have problems. You can throw a rock and hit everybody that's got a damn problem around you. Okay? Don't get it in your head. It's a figment of your imagination that you can't make it. You know, you know I'm the victim. Don't, don't do that, okay? 
If you got an issue with this, text me. I can, I can teach you how to get out of it very fast. I have videos made to help you get out of that. Plus, I'll get on the phone with you and I'll help you. Number 10, let's talk about this last one. And I mean this when I say this. I mean this with all of my heart. I swear. Exercise. For real. Exercise, man. You guys have got to exercise. Look, after work, so I had a deal when I sold cars. If I didn't sell four cars a day, I had to go run at home and run four miles. The reason why is number one, I hated running, hated it, hated it with all my life. But I wanted to do the stuff that sucked and I wanted to do the stuff that I hated to do, but it also kept me in shape if I didn't hit a goal. So maybe your goal would be like, if I don't sell a car every day at work, I'm going to go home and run one mile. Okay. And by the way, you pay the rent, so you don't want to go run. So you make sure you sell the car, but also secondly, you don't lie to yourself. So if you don't sell the car, you go home, you put your shoes on right when you get in the house and you go for a run. And when you go for the run, you actually get your metabolism working. You become healthy. The next day you don't want to eat cheeseburgers at work because you ran the night before you feel better about yourself. Progress rolls into all areas of your life. And by the way, stress kills people. Okay. There's something called cortisol that builds up in your body, and that's, and that's something that stress creates. And when you work out, it breaks down cortisol, so you, still he so you stay healthy and you feel great. So number 10, you want to avoid burnout? Go exercise, please. Start something. And by the way, be accountable for yourself. I don't care what kind of shape you're in right now. Okay? You can become in great shape, okay? But more importantly, you can live a long time, have your best life. Like I said, break up cortisol, not get stressed out and then crush it, okay guys? So these are ways to avoid burnout. I appreciate you. You guys keep up the training and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, number one, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys are awesome. I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my training program. So I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you. Um, I got three things for you real quick. Number one, shoot me a text message. If I haven't met you, I would love to. My phone number is 918. 210-0254. Shoot me a text. I'd love to meet you. Secondly, go to Facebook. Join Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. That's Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. One of the best Facebook groups in the world, hands down, for automotive sales training. And then lastly, I've got over 500 videos on YouTube, guys. Keep up the training. Keep watching the videos and crush it.